Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! When we last left off, we successfully revived Gordon the Alien Brain, and he told us that we're going to be looking for these psychic toys, which Skunk Ape is also looking for, or Skunk Ape, I should say. We need to get those toys before Skunk Ape does, but I'm not sure which ones. Let's see, during the tutorial, there was this putty thing that allowed Max to shapeshift. That's obviously not here. And there was also a deck of playing cards that allowed somebody to... That allowed Max to read minds, and that's not here. The telephone is down there, though. So we're gonna go ahead and grab that in just a couple minutes, but first... Sam and Max, do not trust Skunkape! His benevolent facade belies a heart of pure evil! Uh, yeah, we kind of already figured that out. The giant fang spaceship with disintegrator eyes was our first clue. Are you calling me gullible? Uh, what? Look, I don't know what planet you're from. This one, actually. But on my world, if an alien invites you onto his spaceship, you don't just assume that he's going to cut out your brain and keep it in a jar. I guess we're just not that cynical. To be fair, Max, your future vision goggles did tip us off. You mean... You wield the eyes of Yog Sagoth? But but that must mean you also have the gift. Okay. More info, please. In the future, you seem to know all about Max's psychic powers. Yes, Max is one with the gift. The toys have great power, but only to those of us with a special brain. Well, Max does have a special brain. That's what all the teachers said. Well, that and back, back! I cast thee out, demon! You must use the gift wisely, Max, and keep it secret from General Skunkape. The power is every bit as dangerous as it is wicked awesome. <laughs> wicked awesome is a great description. Why do you think Max's powers are dangerous? Apart from the obvious, of course. General Skunkape can't use the toys of power himself, so he needs the brain of someone who has the gift. He forced me to use my powers so much that I would have died had you not rescued me. If he ever found out you have the gift, Max, he wouldn't hesitate to do the same to you. That would be bad. So what was that about you having a body before? What did you look like back when you had a body? Oh, nothing exceptional. About 6'3", raven-haired. I had what you Earthlings call a runner's build. I can read minds in the future, you know. All right, fine. I believe the closest creature you have on your planet is called a platypus. Well, that is, that's actually awesome. You, you were like a platypus? I hope we get your body back then, because I want to see that. Platypuses are cool. What is Skunk Ape's evil scheme, anyhow? No less than domination of the entire universe! Did he ever mention anything more specific? He's traveling from planet to planet, searching for all the toys of power. If he ever manages to collect all of them, he'll be completely unstoppable! But what does this have to do with the devil? Because this season, by the way, is called The Devil's Playground, which is important. And also because the devil said he would be kind of important at the end of season two. Why did Skunk Ape come here, to our street? He's been using my strange psychic connection to the Toys of Power to track them throughout the galaxy. Something very powerful pulled me to this spot. I can only guess it was Max's discovery of the eyes of Yog Sagoth and the future vision. Can I let me write that down real quick? Eyes of Yog Sagoth. Because that is not an easy name to remember. How are we supposed to stop Skunk Ape? Any weaknesses? Like he's powerless against the color yellow? Or he can't cross running water? Or he's powerless against yellow water? I know what you're thinking, Max. And stop it. Well, of course, the toys of power are useless to him without a gifted brain to control them. Apart from that, he always says he has a weakness for potato chips, and he has to eat the whole bag. Yeah, 
That doesn't really help us much. Sometimes when he's in the shower, I could swear I hear him crying. What's your story, Brain? Can we get you anything? Like a spine? No, it's too late for me, I'm afraid. I can only help you put a stop to General Skunkape's evil schemes by controlling the doors and the higher functions of this spaceship. We must work quickly before... What is in this broth? Is that oregano? It's delightful. Stay focused, pal. <laughs> How did you get here? I had found a mysterious toy and was using my strange power over it to amaze and delight the ladies of my village. It was then that Skunkape's ship landed. He was intrigued with my power and invited me on board his spaceship. So you just went with him? He said he had candy. How was I supposed to know he'd imprison me here, forcing me to use my psychic powers against my will? What's that mole processing room all about? Isn't it obvious? General Skunkape is illegally harvesting mole juice. Mole juice? That is gross, and I'm kind of glad that they did not elaborate further. Okay, that's all the evidence we need. Let's go out and deliver some interplanetary justice, Max. If you end up cutting out his brain, I call dibs on Skunkape's body. Fun times. Aren't you going to try the teleportation power? Sure, we'll try it out later. Oh, okay. Hmm. Is everything okay, Brain? It's just, I've never seen it. I'm just a brain in a jar. Can't really use it. It sounded cool as all. Okay, fine. We'll do it now. <laughs> we just got plot blocked. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and grab that. Spaceship is secure. If I could have a moment, sirs. Hello, Sam, Mr. President. If you have a moment, you need to be debriefed. Too late! This may come as a shock, but our intel indicates that General Skunkape is actually quite evil. No! I'm pretty sure I never heard of a Department of Homeworld Security agent, Super Bowl. Established in 1901 by Theodore Roosevelt after President McKinley's assassination by one of the insectors of the Nebulon Empire. I'm President of the United States! Why didn't I hear anything about it? It's explained in books, sir. All right. <laughs> Is that why you were hanging out in our office so much last season? I mean, a few months ago? To protect Max? Uh, sure. Wow. I feel really close to you right now, Agent Superball. Likewise, sir. A bit too close. Wow. Characters actually touching each other. Oh, so they are really laying on the fourth wall breakage in this season, aren't they? Okay, what's the real story behind Skunk Ape? General Skunk Ape is an intergalactic criminal warlord. There's been a galaxy-wide gorilla hunt in effect ever since he escaped from the penal zone. The what zone? Penal. It's an interdimensional prison for the most dangerous villains in the universe. How are we supposed to get Skunk Ape back into the penal zone? The United Planets have simple and easily reproducible fail-safe measures in place to handle escaped convicts. Well, that's a relief. All we need to do is open an unstable trans-dimensional gateway to the penal zone, and his prisoner's badge will take care of the rest. Hmm, kind of think of it, we don't have that tracking device yet either. I'm beginning to think that the chapters of Sam and Max Season 3 are going to be longer than the previous seasons. Where is Skunk Ape now? We can't track him without his homing beacon, sir. This will require some traditional detective work. Will reckless and irrational detective work do? Cause that's all we know. I'd recommend starting with some of his known contacts. We have to open an unstable trans-dimensional gateway? You must have lost your senses, man! The odds against that are astronomical! Even if we did know what that was. The gateway is the easy part, sirs. Dr. Mama Bosco's reckless and blasphemous work tearing down the fabric of reality could be useful. Of course it is. What do we need from Mama Bosco? Her dimensional destabilizer can open a gateway to the penal zone. 
anyone wearing a prisoner's homing beacon will be returned to justice automatically and scientifically. I didn't notice Skunk Ape wearing any kind of badge or homing beacon. That's because he wasn't wearing one, sir. I find it extraordinarily alarming. Whoa, 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 calm down. We can't think with all your hysterics. Forgive me, Mr. President, but unless you can find General Skunkape's homing beacon and place it on him, we're powerless to stop him. You could just put him in handcuffs and throw him in jail. What did this homing beacon look like? It's a standard issue intergalactic correctional facility inmate's badge. It can't be destroyed, so the only way he could have gotten rid of it is by giving it to someone else. I wonder who would have it then. Also, I take back what I said about putting him in custody. He probably resists, and we learned earlier that he's immune to bullets. Don't worry, Superball. We'll hit that gorilla where it hurts the most. Right in the penal yes, zone! I get it, sir. Whee! Oh, right. We need to get this now. Max, this unassuming telephone unlocks the gift of teleportation. Using the power of your mind, you can teleport yourself to any phone number you have memorized. Oh boy, I want to try it right now! I don't like the thought of you teleporting off without me, Max. You can go too, Sam. Max will teleport anyone he's touching. Watch the hands! I saw that. Nifty animations. And what do we want to do from here? Obviously, teleport. No reason to talk to you because we already went through all your stuff. Well, let's go ahead and try it. Hmm. I don't remember us having the future vision during the opening tutorial. We also didn't have near this many... Oh, hey, Sybil's on here! Phone numbers. Enjoying the ride, Sam? Note to self. When traveling through Max's brain, keep your eyes shut. Oh. Sybil's phone is in there. And no, I am not going to speak of that moment that just happened. Oh, Beer Force says we didn't see the future vision when we were in the future because we were using it to see the future. That makes sense. I was hoping we'd get to see Sybil again. Well, Sybil and the cops are going to teleport us to basically the same place. Let's try it anyway. Whee! That was fun. What else? Sticky Cell Bosco, Sticky's Diner. Different methods of holding on to Max. I mean, there's no reason for us to actually be here right now, but I thought it would be kind of fun to try all these out just to see how they work. Oh, how appropriate. We actually get a telephone back around that time. Probably no reason to... Oh, wait. Yeah, we do need to go to Bosco Tech, don't we? 
get that machine of hers or something. Well, in that case, we'll save that for the moment and go check out Sinky. Well, I'm not sure where we are, and unfortunately, I don't know where Stinky is either. It's Stinky's cell phone, but why would she have left it behind? Especially since she's got 18 months left on her contract. Either there was some kind of struggle, or it was left here for us to find, and we're walking right into a trap. I've got it! She waived her early cancellation fees with a recommended device upgrade. So now we know two things. You're an idiot, and this phone is going to lead us directly to General Skunk Ape, somehow. Okay, we got her phone. I think this game released in 2010? Yeah, that's what phones looked like at the time. It's Stinky's newfangled cellular telephone. I don't want to use up Stinky's minutes. Admit it, Sam. You don't know how to turn it on. If God wanted us to use cell phones, he wouldn't have invented cords. <laughs> Can we teleport to it? Teleportation. Nope, no longer an option. There's a cow over there. Was it an actual cow or part of the psychic thing? I think it was part of the psychic thing. must have driven around this corner a million times and I never noticed that fire hydrant before. Don't beat yourself up, Sam. We can knock it over when we come back. Not a whole lot here, is there? Oh well, let's uh, see if the future vision does anything here. And yeah, that cow is just part of the psychic vision. That fire hydrant has no future. Oh, we can't even see uh, Sam's future at this point. But hey, we can at least get a look around this place. New scenery! I think it would be fun to live in one of these corner buildings. All right, let's head on over to Bosco Tech. No visitors. Hey, you guys can't do that to me. Looks to me like we just did. At least give me back my sidekick. You'll get the rabbit once Jerome's done working him over. You know, we probably shouldn't have teleported in there. Hey, Space Gorilla. You're kind of blocking the door there. Mind if we scooch on by? We're closed. Well, that's unfortunate. Um... The name Bosco and Science go together like church and state. Now, I already took care of that before we left. So what are my options? Well, I could always try shooting the guy. Hey buddy, I'll give you this cool gun if you let us in the lab. Scram. Okay, using the gun is certainly different now. Wow, 
those space gorillas are tough. Hmm. Well. Oh. This is certainly a, a fun sight, isn't it? Because this is a perfect opportunity to use future vision when we could just teleport out of this situation with those, uh, with that phone. Do it again! Do it again! Out of, actually, let me make sure. Nope, nothing else we can look at. Oh. Do you remember where we parked? That gorilla cut off the oxygen to my brain. I don't even remember grade school. Okay. Whatever works. Hey, space gorilla. You're kind of blocking the door there. Mind if we scooch on by? We're closed. Ah, oh, this sucks, Sam. The old Bosco's never closed. I suspect Mama Bosco's got something in there that General Skunk Ape doesn't want us to find. Well, now what? I mean, we could try teleporting in there again. We know how to get out. But I'm feeling that won't actually be terribly useful. Hello? Now we can get the future revision of the other gorilla. It'll probably be the same as the one, but it's worth checking. For a moment there, I thought the fire hydrant had a future. Do it again. Nope, that's the same one. Well, that knocked him out cold. Do it again. Do it again. Do what again? I wonder. Oh, hold on. Two in one blow, and without any significant injuries either. How do we get up there? We tried teleporting in there again, just to see what happens. It's pretty much the same thing. Well, in that case... Where else could we teleport that would be pretty funny? To the same spot, perhaps? We're already there! Well, it was worth a shot, anyway. Well, that doesn't seem to be accomplishing anything. But we do have new options! Now all kinds of bad guys are gonna be after your eerie powers and your freakish body. Tell them to get in line. I've got all kinds of ladies trying to get a piece of this body. I already explained that, Max. Those ladies want you for cosmetics testing. These psychic powers of yours are pretty neat. <sighs> I guess. It's just too bad I didn't have them on prom night. Cheer up, pal. Just think of all the destruction you can cause at the class reunion. I wonder where General Skunk Ape ran off to. He's probably doing what everybody does their first time in New York. Teaming up with loose women and going on a citywide search for magic psychic toys? There's a reason it's such a cliché, Sam. If you say so. Does your family have a history of psychic powers, Max? No, my old Papa Maximus always believed in the old-fashioned ways to set things on fire or make them explode. This is the first time we've ever actually heard anything about Max's family. See you, Max. Keep in touch! Alright, we need to get out of here. 
And seeing as our car is currently back in our neighborhood, there's only one way to get back. So we can actually choose Stinky Cell, by the way. That just teleports us to where we were, of course. I wonder where we could possibly go next. Oh wait, I remember! We didn't explore that one room yet! We were plot blocked. But now we got the plot, so we're probably not going to be blocked. Now, what we find in here might be a little bit gruesome. In one way, anyway. Possibly the other way. We know that... Brain fart, brain fart, brain fart, brain fart, brain fart. Harry is in here. We know that Harry is in here. And he's probably being drained somehow and we're going to find out how he's being drained after this last episode break so we'll be right back and when we continue we'll be heading into there and possibly being grossed out but not really sure with this game you never really know what sort of thing you're going to find i'm, I'm probably it's probably not going to be too gross 